You might have noticed that 10 meters is starting to open up, which is pretty exciting for me. Uh, my best antenna out of all my antennas, if you include my portable antennas and the antennas I use here at the house, is a uh, 10 meter antenna. And so uh, I've been using it quite a bit the last week or so and uh, logging quite a bit of DX with it, um, which is pretty exciting. Uh, today's Wednesday, and if I'm not working on Wednesday, I try to participate in the CWOP CWT. And so that's kind of a challenge for me because I'm, I live in an HOA and uh, a lot of times I'll have to put my antennas up and then take them down as soon as I'm done uh, just so I don't get any complaints. And I haven't got any complaints yet, um, but anyway, uh, I'll show you what I have set up. I actually set up three different antennas. I only use two of them for the CWOP CWT, um, but uh, it seemed to work well. I think I made 72 contacts in the contest, which isn't my best, but it's not my worst either. And um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I went out earlier today and did a little parks on the air activation on 10 meters um, and got quite a bit of DX. And then after the CWOP CWT, I ended up uh, having a couple rag chews and a couple DX rag chews, uh, one in France, one in Brazil, and a few others. So um, pretty exciting. Let me show you my antennas. So here in my driveway, I actually set up my 10 meter uh, three element beam. And this is a portable antenna that uh, is actually really quick to set up. I can usually get this up in the air in about five minutes. And you may not be able to see it, but um, it's got a, um, you know, a dipole in the center and then a director and a reflector. And it supposedly has about 12.5 dBi of gain. And uh, that seems to work really well for me when 10 meters is open. And um, I guess that's why I'm really excited that uh, it's finally, uh, finally opening up. And uh, I should have been working here in my messy garage on these uh, bookcases uh, today, but uh, I've been working on that project for a while. I can wait another day. And then in the backyard, I've got a three element parasitic array setup. And I've used this before and it works well. It doesn't have a ton of gain, but uh, it's better than, than just a single um, vertical. It probably adds about maybe um, three and a half to four dBi of gain, but it does some, seem to give me a little bit of extra edge. Um, this one's tuned for 20 meters right now. You can see I've got a reflector, which is a 25 foot whip and then a radiating element, 17 foot whip, and then a director. And I don't know if you can see, but I have the elevated radials just kind of strung out um, in the backyard. But uh, I have another antenna set up that it looks like the, it was pretty windy earlier and it looks like it kind of spun around and sometimes that'll collapse the telescoping mass that I have it on, but you might be able to see my cobweb there. I had that set up just in case I wanted to jump on 15 meters. It's, uh, it's not the best antenna as far as uh, gain goes, but it does have an extremely low noise level on it. So usually I can hear people really well, just they may not be able to hear me. One thing I like to do after a parks on the air activation or after a contest is look at the RBN spots that I had. And here are the 10 meter spots I had uh, for the whole day. As you can see, the antenna was pointed northeast, and so most of, most of my spots are in that direction. Um, I had a couple of fairly strong uh, spots, 46 dB in Ontario, and strong all along the east coast. I had a few spots off the back end, um, and a few contacts in that direction as well, but most of my spots were to the northeast. And I had quite a few uh, European spots that were uh, some were, were, were fairly strong, as you can see here in France, 27 dB, um, and the UK, 26 dB, uh, and this one was uh, 30 dB. Overall, 264 10 meter spots, the average was 18.6 dB, and the max was 46 dB. On 20 meters, I only use this during the CWT. Um, I, I was only on 20 meters for um, you know, probably about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, my fence is uh, kind of facing 40 degrees, so up towards Chicago. 
So the parasitic ray is pointed in that direction. Most of my spots are um, towards the northeast, and uh, a couple of them are fairly strong. Um, you know, 40 dB. I had a few off the uh, side and back end, but as you can see, much, much less. So uh, definitely get some, some gain in the direction that the uh, parasitic rays pointed. Uh, I only had one European um, uh, spot at five, so that's, that's not great. But uh, I, I've noticed that 20 meters seems to open up later in the day uh, towards the evening for me into Europe. Here is just a map of all the contacts I made um, both during the CWT and a Parks on the Air activation. I only worked 10 meters during the Parks on the Air activation, um, so all the 20 meter contacts were during the CWT. And as you can see, um, most of my contacts were uh, in the direction that the parasitic array was pointing. So I, th I think, you know, I get a little bit of gain in that direction. Um, and then I got quite a few European contacts. Um, you know, both during the um, Parks on the Air activation and the CWT. Anyway, uh, hopefully 10 meters will, will be really good this winter again. And uh, I plan on taking that 10 meter antenna out uh, quite a bit. Um, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of times I'll, I'll be calling CQ for 10 minutes without a contact, and then all of a sudden I'll get like four or five DX contacts in a row. So it's, it's, you know, it's not the best antenna for, for getting a ton of contacts, but it, it's way more exciting. Anyway, 73, hope to see you on the air.